Hello everyone, this is Manju Vegal from SVM Malair Kotla. Today we will be discussing the chapter of geography class 10th that is lifelines of national economy. Now what do we mean by lifeline? Lifeline is a system through which everything runs in a systematic way that could be of your body of the country of the school or any even a small house or unit that is called lifeline over here we will be discussing the different aspects of lifelines that help to develop the national economy of a country now there are certain main ways through which these uh, lifelines could be discussed in the initial old days we used to have the system of transport which was very slow even there was no fast way communication systems the present which uh, scenario is having so if we go from that past to the present situation we can see that the present situation is a very fast moving trade aspect of a country the means of these systems help the development of a country to a very larger extent coming to the aspect of the chapter which we are going to cover we have means of transport you have read these transport systems many a times but over here we would be reading them and discussing them in a very systematic way over here we have land, water and air. These are the three modes of transportation which help in the economy of a country to run at a very fast speed. Coming to the first aspect that is land. Over here I have written land. On land we have three aspects of transportation. One is railways, over here I have written railways, first one, second one is roadways, over here and third one is pipelines. Now railways and roadways, we already know about these, there are so many different things that could be used for the aspect of roadways and railways. Trains, there are two type of trains, freight trains and passenger, two types of trains are there that is freight trains and passenger trains, freight trains carry goods from one place to another. Now what kind of goods? They could be ready made goods, they could be heavy and bulky material which usually we do not have the system to carry it from one place to another. Railways are basically used to carry these heavy loads of things that could be transferred. For example coal, for example petroleum products, for example iron. All these things which are bulky material and need a heavy transportation system to carry and that also in a very bulky manner. Bulky manner means when we travel in a lot of quantity from one place to the other place. That is called freight trains. The other is passenger trains which carry people from one place to another. You must have also travelled with the train on trains that is from one place to another it's a very easy uh, way of uh, traveling and a very comfortable way also we have different kinds of uh, trains that is air conditioned and general also you know about all these things but still these are the ways through which we can transport and travel next is roadways roadways it's a very common means of transportation you must have seen when you are traveling by your car or your or a bus you must have seen tankers 
being transported on the trucks from one place to another or you must have seen cars or scooters been up uh, downloaded in your city or around the area where you are living now this now this is also another transport means of transport system through which the goods could be carried from one place to another now next comes pipelines now pipeline is a system which is a newly developed system through which the expenditure of transportation could be cut short how it can be cut short so for example once the pipeline is put from one place to another now that pipeline would be an expenditure for one time only once the pipeline is fixed it can be used for years that come only maintenance charges are there so we do not have to go through all the bulky process of uploading the things on the train and then downloading them that consumes time but once a pipeline is fixed it can easily gush from one place to another there are system that is called pressure pumping and sucking systems through which these kind of the traveling of the liquid or semi solid form of things could be transported coming to the system of pipeline uh, you can be you uh, can use the example of that is assam to kanpur that is a pipeline through which the petroleum that is extracted in assam could be gushed to kanpur where it could be refined and further supplied to other places coming to the second part of this that is water water had been a part of our life and is an integral part still of our life which is the from the ancient times all the settlements which you have come across in history you must have studied about all these were settled around waterways wherever there were rivers the settlements were there so we have two types of set, uh, traveling in waterways that is one is inland system now what is inland system say for example you are traveling from haridwar to the delta of river ganga say hugli where the delta delta of ganga is formed the delta of river ganga is formed that is inland waterways we can use a streamer or a small boat from haridwar and travel till the hugli destination which is just near to the bay of bengal so this is a system through which easily the transportation of goods can be done with the help of waterways that is inland waterways between in the in between the country not across the seas this has been a part of transportation since ancient times second comes overseas we automatically understand what we mean by overseas that is when a transportation of goods is done from one country to another through sea route this kind of system has been prevalent and is prevalent in present uh, scenario also all the heavy and bulky goods are transported through sea route from one country to another instead of airways if we travel by airways it is costlier whereas traveling by sea the transportation of goods traveling by sea is cheaper as compared to airways so we have got two type of airways that is inland airways the traveling from one place of the river to another and overseas when we travel from one country to another so these are the two ways through which waterways we can travel from one place to another and carry our goods also both passenger traveling as well as good transportation third comes airways the most fastest means of transportation and the modern mean of transportation in the present modern world over way here we have two types of airways one is domestic airways and the other is international airways if we come to the domestic airways 
from by domestic airways we mean that is we are traveling within a country for example you want to travel from delhi to bombay or you want to travel from bombay to hyderabad or you want to travel from hyderabad to amritsar now these are the places which are within the sphere of our country that is india if we are traveling within the country this is called domestic airways over here we have two types of airways that is public undertaking and the second is private airlines public undertaking air india is an example of public undertaking you must have heard about this airlines air india which is a public undertaking and private you must have heard so many go indigo is there spice jet is there so many airline airlines are there which provide you services that is traveling from one place within a country to another place over here the difference is that we do not need any kind of passport from traveling one place to another that is you straight away go to the airport buy a ticket from delhi to amritsar or delhi to hyderabad or from any other place and you can travel by that this is a simple the other is international airways you must have heard about international flights now these international flights are from one country to another so for example say for example you are traveling from india to canada you are going to some place say you are going to sri it's a place in canada say for example you are going to toronto a place in canada say for example you are going to perth a place in australia say for example you are going to adelaide again a place in australia similarly america new jersey new york the places england or london these are the places which are away from our country outside the sphere of our country so we are traveling to an international level over here even though we have same domestic as well as sorry pub over here again we have two kinds of airlines that is public and private airlines these same go a hand in hand for taking passengers from one place to another so public undertaking that is run by a government that could be of any country not only india other countries also do have say for example thai airways it's a uh, it is a public uh, sorry thai airways which is a public undertaking of thailand similar you have chinese airline that is also a place which is a transportation system which is again a place through which you can travel the other is private airlines again there are so many private airlines which could be which through which we can travel spice jet is there airways then uh, go indigo is there then lufthana airlines is there all these line uh, pri airlines are private and they are taking you from one place to another these two systems are present all over the world so we use all these things for the mode of tra traveling we can even transport our goods from one place to another through these fast means of transport of airlines say for example we are to carry medicines now they are a vulnerable thing and could be spoiled because of long uh, hours of traveling so to provide these in a very short time period we use airways similarly if you think of our soldiers that are fighting on the four fronts of our himalayas with the countries like china and pakistan over there we have our soldiers to whom we are to provide food medicines equipments and even if some medical aid to those people this is a place through which we can immediately transfer the goods to those places in in airlines we another have a system that is called helicopters now why are they used 
दे आर द फास्टेस्ट मीन्स ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड कुड बी लैंडेड एट एनी प्लेस इर रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द रन वे वी डी नॉट यूज इट और एनी अदर प्लेस इट कुड हैंग इन द एयर एंड सप्लाई ऑल द गुड्स वी यूज दिस इन अ प्लेस वेयर वी हैव से फॉर एग्जाम्पल नेचुरल क्लैमिटीज देर आर फ्लड्स देर माइट बी सम पर्सन हु इज स्टक ओवर सम वेयर वेयर वी कैनॉट रीच द पर्सन थ्रू एनी ऑफ द मीन्स ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट दैट इज रोडवेज और रेलवेज सो दैट पर्सन कैन ऑल्सो बी एयर लिफ्टेड थ्रू दिस immediate supply of medicines food bringing an injured person from one place to hospitalized positions all the emergency needs can be fulfilled from this so coming to the end we can say that we have these modes of transportation that is land water and air and at present this is the most fastest means of transportation and is used by millions of people across the world inland waterways overseas waterways again used by millions of people across the world railways and roadways carrying heavy and bulky material from one place to another providing help and best facilities to the people across the world thank you have a nice day